Good morning, my beautiful sweets. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching this video. I'm so happy to see some sunshine today. You guys, it was a terrible, cloudy, cold, dark, rainy day yesterday. But thank God I survived it. But it is freezing out here, you guys. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my God. I am still in my PJs. And I am attempting to drink my second cup of coffee. But at the same time, I want to tackle this pantry today. And then I'm hoping, if not in this video, maybe in another one, I can share all the beautiful Christmas cards that I received from all you guys. But for right now, I'm gonna hit my second cup of coffee and try to tackle this pantry. But I wanted to show you guys the before because I always, always forget to show you the before. I'm trying to make a grocery list. <clears throat> For everything that I'm going to need for my cooking this week. As you can see, I'm out of diatonic water. I still have distilled water, but yeah, I got to get in here and go through this whole thing and make bags and bags of stuff for the church because I figured it would just be easier to just donate it all to the church than to try to give it away to individual people. I just don't have the strength to do all that. I already have two big, huge Cracker Barrel bags here. Um, this is the donation bag, and that one right there is for my um, my sister. So I will be making up a few of those bags and calling um, First Lady to come over and pick up this stuff once I've, once I've completed it. But I'll come back and show you guys the progress. All right. Okay, my sweets. I feel like it took me forever, but it really didn't. I just have to, you know, constantly stop for certain things like go and get something to eat. Blech. I hate that. As soon as I get in the middle of something, I have to stop and eat because, you know, it's the life of a diabetic. But this is how it's looking so far. I've got a lot of space in there that you really can't see, but I was able to um, clear it all out, check all the dates, and I'm not even going to show you guys what I threw away because uh, that touched a few people's nerves the last time. <laughs> But that's not about what I threw away. It's about decluttering my pantry. And I think it looks really good. And I'm hoping and praying that it will stay for a little while. I have a lot of my mother's stuff that came out of her um, pantries, you know, when we cleaned out her apartment. So, yeah, that's how it's looking right now. I've got a few items over here for my sister that I will be giving to my sister if she wants that stuff. And then this is what I'm donating to my mother's church if they want it. So I've low, I've touched bases with everybody and left them messages. And if they don't um, get back with me ASAP, I'm just going to bag all this stuff up and go drop it off at the Salvation Army because I need it out of my house ASAP. So that's what I've gotten done so far. Hey, my sweets. I'm in food line real quick. Just getting ready to pick up a few items. Um... Uh, they had my tonic water, so I got it while I was here. Y'all, I really want to wait and go to um, Walmart tomorrow early in the morning if I can. But I don't know. I'm questioning myself. Those are so cute cornucopias. I used to make these out of the bread, y'all. Used to be so much fun. But they are $36.99. Yeah, they're going to stay right there. Oh, y'all, look. The mini pan, pan ponies, they got the chocolate one and they got the classic one. And they're a dollar on sale, normally a dollar forty-nine. I should try the chocolate one, huh? For a dollar, right? I can't giant cookie kit. I wanna make cookies, but I don't wanna make cookies because you know, it's just been one of those months. Ooh, go look. Post is mint chocolate twinkies. Oh my lord. They got a nice arrangement of different little festive stuff. Look at the strawberry banana Cheerios. Star Wars, $5.99. Oh, yeah. Here's the other s'mores, no bake cookies, I think. I think these are no bake, right? 
I don't know, maybe they are. But those are cute. Waffles. I'm trying to see what else. Here's the sausage up there. Um, let's see. Okay. We got a lot of Welch's grape juice, eggnog, shortbread cookies. I've never seen those. These are nice for gifts. Mm, my favorite. Woohoo! Ooh, y'all look. They got the Mary Muscadine. The Mary Muscadine. It is $8.49. Now, I gave my sister this bottle of wine a couple of years ago, and she refuses to open it. I wonder should I give her this one? Naughty or nice? Naughty. Is it said naughty and nice? Yeah, naughty and nice. $8.49. Yeah. Mary Muscadine. That's got Mrs. Claus on it. Sweet white wine. And this is sweet red wine. I was so happy when I found this that year at Walmart. So it was the last one. And they've got all the sparkling ciders. Red grape. White grape. Rosé. Hope you guys can see that. People who don't know how to cook from scratch. They've got all these yummy, ready to bake broccoli rice casserole, green bean casserole, twice baked potato casserole, macaroni and cheese. And then they have over here oh, cinnamon apples. Mm. Wow. Okay, my sweet. I'm just leaving food line and you can see what time of the evening it is but I really waited to come out because I wanted to try those night vision glasses I'm not really sure about it you guys it just kind of like shields you from the headlights I think because when you have them on you see that yellow that yellow tint there that's what everything looks like it has like a yellow hue to it but it does when the headlights are coming towards you or when the headlights are in back of you, they do um, make their lights yellow instead of white. So I guess they're, have, they're helpful, but I'm going to have to like go on a road trip at night to really, really tell if they make much of a difference because my vision was clear with them off and it was clear with them on. So anyway, that's my review on the Dollar Tree night vision glasses. All right, you guys, I'm going down to the Dollar Tree real quick, real quick. Because I'm right up the road. So, I'll be back. Okay, you guys. I'm rolling up to the Dollar Tree. And look at this parking lot. This is what I'm talking about, y'all. <sighs> I just went in the food line. It was so nice. In there shopping. Not dealing with all the you-know-what. <laughs> and I'm hoping and praying I can get up early tomorrow. And go to Walmart. And get the stuff that I want for my cooking. So, I can have everything in the house and not have to go back out until Christmas Day. All right, let's go in the Dollar Tree, see if they put out anything new. Well, y'all, at first glance, I'm not seeing anything new, but it is a little bit quiet in here. So if I see anything new or find anything new, I'll come back. It's pretty much just looks the same. Okay, I'll be back. Y'all, I know they got new stuff coming in because I heard them say they got their truck in. But you have to check back every day to see, you know, because they don't have enough help, I guess. Because I'm not finding a whole lot of nothing. I found some new LA Colors hydrating face mist in the, what is this? The rose. And this one is in the cucumber. You can see that. That's what I'm seeing so far. But I'm not seeing a whole lot of nothing. So, all right. Y'all, I swear, I'm, I found one new item so far. It's called sports shorts. It says child standard. What are these for underneath their um, gym clothes or something? We didn't have nothing like this when I was playing in gym, so <laughs> I don't know. But they got quite a few of them right now. I'm like, wow. They must have restocked the um, peanuts socks these are the no-show socks four to ten and they've got all these um royal delights deluxe cozy socks they are so soft y'all 
It say um, fits most sizes, four to ten. And I got them in the pink, the teal. I kind of want to try them because they're a different brand. They're not. They're definitely not Greenbrier. One size fits most. Y'all know I hate that, right? Then I like the purple. <laughs> I don't know which ones to get. Oh, God. They got the junk shoes, kids, hat cushions. You get three pairs in there. And a few new items. I finally got the Yardley washcloths here in my local store. I found these in uh, Wake Forest and I forgot to haul them. But they do have them. Yardley London disposable washcloths, alcohol free. Wow. All right. Y'all know. I'm so over the Christmas stuff, but I thought this was cute. Get your Mary on for the wine bags. Ho, ho, ho. Time to get jolly. <laughs> I thought these were really cute. Sip, sip, hooray. <laughs> I didn't get any wine at Food Line for my sister, but I might go back and get her some. So we'll see. Tis the season to drink wine. Cute. Okay, my sweets, this has been a long day for me. Cleaning out my pantry. I forgot to show y'all how I also cleaned out the refrigerator, decluttered everything on the doors, everything so I could do a proper inventory to know what I needed and what I didn't need. That's why I want to go to Walmart in the morning and get the stuff that I need because I did look around at Food Line tonight and I really didn't see a whole lot of stuff. Their sweet potatoes were crap. They had plenty of the large cans of, of candy sweet potatoes, but I like to make my sweet potato casserole um, up by scratch with, you know, baked sweet potatoes. So anyway, I digress. I went to Food Line. I got my French vanilla Hills Brother Cappuccino. I love to mix this in with my regular pod. French vanilla coffee is so good. It tastes almost like hot chocolate, you guys. So if you can't find any dairy-free hot chocolate in your area, this is the next best thing because this has never bothered my stomach. So, yeah, I love that. And they had it on sale for 2 for $6, so it was $3 there. I showed you guys in the walkthrough at Food Line that they had the chocolate mini Pantone, Pantone, and I really am curious about it. I want to try it. So, and it was only a dollar. It was regularly priced a dollar forty nine, but they had it on sale for a dollar. So, I know my girl Amy Maynard. She said that she had bought the chocolate one from I think she said Big Lots, but you know the Dollar Tree only had the classic ones. Then I got some sour cream because I want to get those sour cream pound cakes made up. Um, probably no later than Wednesday because. I want to get them to everybody by Thursday or Friday. So this is two cakes. So it's eight ounces per cake. I got me some California blend broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. I got these out of my mom's freezer before, and I never bought these. And I tried them, and I really, really like them. So I got me another bag to put in the freezer. I was going to make them for dinner tonight, but it's way too late for dinner now. I'm just going to get probably a couple of slices of toast and call it a day. Uh, I'm a little ashamed of myself with these spicy, sweet, chili doritos because for this small little bag, they are $2 at Food Line. Yeah, mm -hmm, I know. Shame, shame, shame. I could have went across the street to the um, Dollar General and got the big bag for four twenty five, dollars but I wasn't about that life. <laughs> I usually don't buy this Cinnabon um, cinnamon bread. I really like the other one, and I can't think of the name of it, but y'all know the red bag. I love that cinnamon bread, but this is okay to me, but it was all they had, and it was on sale for $2.99, so, because y'all know this bread is really, really expensive, so, yeah, I want some toast. That's probably what I'm going to have for dinner. Just a couple of slices of some toast because, you know, it's too late for me to eat anything heavy. Then I got um, eight jugs of my diet tonic water. Y'all know, I went in here to just get a few at a time. But I said with the holiday, I better go ahead and strike now because they run out so fast. And then I end up having to run all over my little small town 
to just try to find any. But this will last me, yeah, for a while. So I got eight more jugs of those. Then I went over to the Dollar Tree. And again, they didn't have very much, but I did find... Y'all know, you, they don't need to have a lot for you to be able to spend money up in there. So even with me saying that, I still spent, I think, $14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yep, $14 and some change, you guys. This is with me not finding anything. <laughs> but I told y'all in the video, in the previous video, that I did find these down in Raleigh, I believe. And I forgot to haul them for some reason. And then I ended up giving them away in a whole lot of those wipes that I gave to the church. So I did go ahead and repurchase another one because I want to try them. The cashier, again, she was all over these. She's like, oh my God, I didn't know we had these. I love these, blah, blah, blah. So these are the Yardley London disposable washcloths, alcohol free, enriched with aloe vera, chamomile, and vitamin E. And you get 18 large washcloths. So, yeah, I got those. And they had the cute little foldable mirrors. Perfect for stocking stuffers. I only saw these two versions. These are really, really cute. This one says, a beautiful thing is never perfect. And that's what they look like. So, I got two of those. Probably going to go into my sister's stock stockings. Then I had, when I inventoried and decluttered my pantry, I realized I only had one box of yellow cake mix, and I need at least two, and I went ahead and just got two more, so I could have three, so I could always have a box of this in my pantry, because I usually have at least two on hand, but they don't expire until December 28, 2022, and I had a box of brownies that I found in my pantry today that's close to expiring, and so I want to make these up and make them... Ugh, let me see. This is December 23rd, 21st. So I'm going to make these up real quick. Well, as part of my Christmas stuff. And I want to put cream cheese and chocolate frosting on those. And these are from the Dollar Tree. So they can go there. But that's my plan to make some. Probably going to use my cookie cutters and make them into the Christmas decoration shapes. And then ice them with some cream cheese and chocolate frosting. And I saw this big bag. Now, I don't, I know we had these before, y'all, but I don't remember the bag being this big. This is net weight, six ounces of the Biscotti Italiano. And I love these with my coffee in the morning. And like I said, they only had two bags left. The expiration date is March 30th, 2022. But I thought that was a great deal for a dollar. Y'all know I can't remember a lot of stuff, but I do not remember them bags. The last time they had these, those bags being that big. So, it's probably mostly air, but you know what I'm saying. Just for shits and giggles. <laughs> I don't remember the bag being that large. So, I tussled with the wrap. I still have a full one of these unopened on top of my refrigerator. But I wrestled with it because they had... I mean, jam packs of boxes of this um, Riddles wrap. I didn't have any of the sheets, but they had this. And something just said, Sadie, you're going to want to wrap your food. You're not going to want to use your sheets for that. So go ahead and get another box just in case, just to make sure you have enough um, foil, you know, for your food. Because I'm cooking my dishes and taking them down to Raleigh to my older sister's house. So... Okay, moving right along. I found this, and I think I might have this already. Again, you guys, I'm not sure. This is the three outlets wall tap, and I might have something similar to this. I'm not really sure, but when I saw it, I was like, you know, I'm going to get it and put it with the rest of my stuff. So just in case I have, I have a need for it for a dollar, rack up now because our stuff is still a dollar right now so go ahead and get it so i did then i found some pens that i didn't need but y'all know i had to have it as soon as i saw that bumblebee on there look at this you guys i'm trying to get it so my look at this all three of them this got like the honeycomb on that one the bee right there and then the bees in the black and white and yellow these are so cute fashion pens stylus it includes three ballpoint pens and they um, have black ink. So I had to have them. No rhyme or reason. Just 
B. <laughs> and then I saw these. These are the um, Ink R2 Rollers. Precise writing, comfort grip. These look really nice. And they had them on a strip clip that was almost completely empty. So I was like, yeah, I better grab some of these because I love a good writing pen. Those other pens that I showed you guys that they had two in a pack, they are blue ink. They were blue ink and they write really, really nice. I'll have to show them to you in another haul to remind you guys. Okay, so moving right along, I found this. I've never seen this before in my life. These are called sports shorts, shorts, I don't know, that's another language. This says child standard, and I don't really know what that means. I was looking at the back, trying to look at the measurements and stuff, and they had the U.S. up to size 10. But again, it says child standard, so I'm thinking these might be for kids. So hold on one moment. I'm going to go off and open them up. Okay, definitely, definitely for kids, you guys. Y'all see the size of these shorts? <laughs> I'm like, I figured that's what they said, child standards. So I'm thinking these are what they wear underneath their gym stuff when they're, um, I don't know. I really don't know. I've never seen them before. It just says sports shorts for the kids. So I will mail that to my little niece because she'll, she'll be able to wear those. So that's what those look like. But yeah, that's the first time I ever saw those at the Dollar Tree. And when I show you guys in my next couple of videos, I needed to get another box of Scotties, but I needed it in this box because one of the gifts that my girl Shauna sent me, um, I need a box of tissues in this shape. So I'm going to show you guys later on because it's so darling. <laughs> and she sent it to me right before my mom passed. And so I hadn't been able to show you guys all the stuff that's been coming in, but that's another video coming up prayerfully. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I know this is a little long-winded. I'm sorry, you guys, but this started early this morning. But love, peace, and happiness. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Remember, guys, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. Y'all have a blessed day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.